Rainbow Coffee Talk. I'm getting a late start. I generally try to have these up before noon, but you know, makeup, hair, <laughs> fiasco. And I filmed another video before this, so um, I'm on a spree. I feel like if you know, Beyonce does 17, I can do like five in one day, right? Right. All right, um, Kiki Palmer. I checked out her show yesterday, Just Kiki. It comes a, it comes on here on the East Coast, 5 o'clock on BET. Um, and it's a cute show. It's a really, really cute show. Yesterday, the episode that I caught, um, Rachel Gentile, who is Trayvon Martin's best friend. She testified at the trial. She was on there. And, you know, the thing I like about the show is Kiki is very, very personable. She's, like, into it. They had, like, a hell date um, kind of skit. And that was, like, fun and funny. So, it's a really, really cute show. It's not Teen Summit because I feel like Teen Summit was always so serious. Um, I don't know if that's true. But I just feel like Ananda was, like, so serious and, you know, the people and... But I'm not sure. <laughs> that could, they could have had some fun days and those were the, the fun episodes and those were the episodes I missed. But um, this show is it's really cute. It's really, really fun. It's like, I feel like it's a good lead in to uh, 106 and Park. So Jeremy Meeks, the cutie felon, the fine felon, the cute criminal, has signed a modeling contract. And... Is this where we are with this? Like, you signed in? You signed in? It's a lot of attractive dudes that's not felons that don't have my modeling contracts. But we are signing felons. Dude has, like, 11, like, felony charges. 11 felony charges. Like, possession of a firearm or, and, like, parole violations. And, like, I just, I don't know. He's 30. He's married or not married. I don't know. People are acting like this dude is the finest. He is a criminal. <laughs> he was still out your purse. That might choke you out. Okay? I just, whatever. Whatever. Uh, but anyway, he signed this contract with this agency called Blaze Models. Blaze Models is the same agency that has signed um, V. Stiviano, who is the, um, where's the visor, and uh, was the Donald, Donald Sterling Chica. Um, and also Teen Mom, Farah, Abraham. So this is the same agency. So, you know, they have a, a great, great, great roster of, uh, <laughs> underachievers? I don't know. <laughs> so it turns out that Nico might be married? Oh, my God. Y'all know, I have said repeatedly, I've said it in the video, uh, in the last Coffee Talk video. No, that was the BET Awards video. And then another Coffee Talk that Nico is disgusting. I feel like he's the most disgusting person ever. And I don't know why that is. He just is so lame and he is so corny and he is such a poster child for what happens when you date somebody that's lame. Like, then you are embroiled in some lame shit. Case in point. Now, it comes out that he is married. Apparently. Mimi called into a radio station here, V103 Atlanta. She called into the station and the person uh, asked her if she was pregnant and if she and if her and Nico were engaged. She said no. Then the person asked her, the radio host asked her, well, are you, have you, what is this rumor about Nico being married? Mimi said, uh... Uh, well, I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything. I just know that I, I think you guys should turn into love and tune into love and hip hop on Monday nights. You have said it all by saying nothing. You could have just said no, but I guess with the show, I don't know. So anyway, she said that there will be, Mimi said that there will be a big surprise coming up on one of the future episodes and you will find out. Isn't this all that needs to happen? Like, I... Here's my thing. I feel like, I feel like Mimi started dating, what's his name? Nico. <laughs> Mimi started dating Nico as a way to kind of like, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. I got somebody just that likes me, blah, 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 after the whole like Jocelyn fiasco, okay? 
So, with that being said, but I feel like it's backfired. Like, you done made a sex tape. And I, I feel like, was Mimi messing around with Stevie J when he was with Eve? I don't know if that's true. But, I just... I feel like it's backfired. Now, you got a sex tape, and now he could be married? Like, when does this madness end? Like, when does this madness end? This shit is not worth it. It ain't like... He looked like some like super awesome dude. Like, dude is whack. I just feel a, I feel a way. I, I, <laughs> I just feel a way. I feel a way about Nico. He is disgusting. So, apparently he's married. For all we know, he, may, he might as well be. He is everything else, okay? He is disgusting, unemployed. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, we should have known. Because he lived, him in... Whatever the guy's name was when they was making that video, they lived together. The only time a guy really, really lives with another guy is when they're trying to get back on their feet. So why would he try to get back on his feet if him and his wife had perhaps broken up and they were estranged? It makes perfect sense. It's still gross, but I don't know. I mean, at this at this point, it's like nothing that would not that would not shock me. I just. Uh, he is so <laughs> gross. <laughs> so apparently, K. Michelle, <laughs> K. Michelle and L. Varner are no longer friends. I don't know. Okay, so apparently, L. Varner was at a dinner, like a dinner thing. Um, I'm assuming that it was in kind of direct relation to the BET Awards. I'm not sure that could be a bold face lie, but um. Elvarner and Meek Mill were at this dinner party and so Meek Mill posted a picture that said something like um, me telling Russell because Russell Simmons was there so he said me telling Russell how real the curve world how, how real the curve was lol so Elvarner Elver, reposted the picture and hashtagged it no curve zone um, no curve zone and so of course K Michelle saw it and she fell away <laughs> she fell away because apparently the rumor was on the street is that K Michelle and Meek Mill had like dated or like hung out hooked up did something but they had direct relation to each other um so K Michelle then posted People be smiling in the pictures not knowing they're getting dissed in the caption. Hi, you definitely need a refill as thirsty as you are. Joke's on you and you ain't even know it. And then she wrote, I hope you got attention from that because you sure don't get it from your music. Ain't that mean? Damn, she go for the jugular. I mean, I mean, El Verna only had one album. Like, it ain't like she was... I mean, damn, it ain't been that long. <laughs> so I mean my god it's not like she had like a failed career I don't know anyway on the red carpet L. Varner said that you know it's unfortunate that she feels this way but I just don't do drama like drama isn't my middle name K. Michelle is drama feel I love K. I love K. Michelle I think she's a beast but like She's a mean girl. She's not even a mean girl. She's like a crazy girl. So that's like the worst kind of mean girl. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I guess I feel like it would be really, really hard to be Kate Michelle's friend because you just never know. It seems like you would always be on eggshells trying not to upset her because you just never know like what, what would set her off. The picture looked innocent enough, but I don't know. I guess because she used to date on the street word on the street is that they used to date that you know she felt she felt the way about it so i don't know y'all i don't know vivica fox and miss kenya moore um kenya moore was at the bet awards and she was on stage to like kind of help get the crowd into it whatever and she had this beautiful beautiful uh dress from victoria beckham she looked absolutely amazing as she did and so, uh, Vivica Fox tweeted, here's the phone thief. Here's the phone thief. It's, it's bad that you guys support, um, yeah, so, so, so sad that you support a liar 
and a thief wait till the tea is spilled okay so apparently these two are on celebrity apprentice and there was like on the upcoming season of celebrity apprentice and there was a story that kenya moore stole vivica fox phone and was lying and i don't know it's just like the over oh, women over 40 beef i don't know <laughs> like vivica fox looks scary to me like i can't even proceed with whatever i'm trying to say before i say she looks scary she look real fucking scary to me whatever anyway so kenya moore said team twirl live your life for you if people hate on you they are sad people who secretly want to be you clearly you are doing something right i don't know i don't know what's going on vivica was in independence day and then she's doing chitlin circuit movies and ch chitlin circuit plays so i don't know something something's going down i have no idea when this show is um going to premiere but it's it's gonna be a doozy please know that i did a review for trey song's new album trigger and i also did a review for robin thick's new album paula be sure to check those out i will link those down below until then i will see you guys later